This is parachute construction, um, it's typical of any parachute you've ever made. First thing we'll do is cut the parachute out of the plastic. And you can use a hobby knife and a ruler. Just lay the ruler along the dotted line and just go ahead and cut it out. take our reinforcement holes and we'll put those on each of the corners. I put them as close to the corner as possible even though the parachute it shows it a little bit further in. Those are for reference. Okay, then I'm going to take my hobby knife and I'm going to cut an X in the middle of each of the holes through the plastic. Okay, now my shroud line string on this particular parachute, uh, you're, we're using Kevlar thread. And the reason is, is it's lighter weight and in parachute duration you want to use as light a weight as possible. So we need to cut this into four equal parts. Without getting it tangled. Okay, so I'll just take it and fold it over. See, I'll find my other end. Bring both ends together. that in half and we're going to fold it over again to find the middle so there's one end you can either do them individually or you can do them as a group and if now this one I got one longer than the other which is not good so we'll just make sure those two are together might be because it's all folded up. Yep, that was the case. Much better. Put all four ends together. Let me get this out of the way for just a second so you can see it. So I got all four ends together, but they're not equal lengths. So I, want, I need to have them equal, so I'm going to just cut them off. Okay, and on this end, the loops aren't equal, so again, I'm just going to cut them off. So now I know all four are equal length. So I'm going to pull one out. Keep them all neat. So now I'll take one end, I'm going to pass it through the hole, I'm going to tie one knot. Now I've showed you how to do this before in another video on the, on the Apogee website. Whenever you're doing this, hold the string right here and pull from the other end. What it does is it, it keeps this end very short. So now I have that end and I'm going to do a second knot over the top. So I just crisscross, push it through, grab it. Again, hold that end and pull on this side, pull on the long end. Okay, try not to pull too tight or you're going to pull the thread, the Kevlar, it will cut the plastic pretty easy. So just get it nice and snug. 
Okay, and then bring the other end around. And we'll do the same thing. You get to see the technique twice here. So, so it's through the bottom. I, I kind of grab it with these fingers over here and holding them between my thumb and index finger. Then grab it, then crisscross on the top, and then push it under through. So now I grab it, pull on that end. I'm going to do the same technique. Grab over here, crisscross, push it underneath, grab it nice and tight. Okay, so that's one loop. And then when we, when we make the parachute, we're going to, instead of going from the next corner around to this corner, we're going to go from this corner across the top to this corner. And that way all the, the lines will lay flat when we gather them up. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off this parachute so then we can attach it to the rocket.